Hi there, it's Ace from Gaming Gladiators. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy what you see, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It's alive for the playoffs of the Riyadh Masters and Gaming Gladiators. Should basically boil down to a very straightforward farming lane. Echoes does have the edge there in terms of clearing out the creep wave at the very least. It should just be able to constantly shove in. Allows him some easier access to the water runes as well. As long as he times that right with a creep wave. And as long as you do get that water rune uh, flowing in for Echoes, shouldn't have that much of a struggle once the bottle is up. The side lane. I'm going to top lane for a moment. Why and Shira are going to be up against Tofu and Ace. Tofu already copying a, a bit of damage, but we'll be okay to get out. Shira had a very good game last game around, and this game as well, like, there's not really much of the way of slowing him down too much. Like, you do have the iron, the, the double iron shore combo, right, with the, the Darkseer and the SP, and you can charge in and create all sorts of havoc, but chances are, it's still against the Troll Warlord, like, it's quite hard to close the gap and get that damage off. And it is. Again, it's very EXP intensive. You've got good protection from Y. He's got some slows to play with to just kind of cut off the, the uh, full rundown, post-charge, post-surge down the line. It, it can be a little bit harder. We were taking a gander down bot for a moment. You were seeing PYW forcing out a very big creep wave out, stacking it up to give a lot more EXP out to you. He is having a pretty fun time just walking around mind flaring creeps. He is finding some decent solo EXP, making it awkward on the mid camps as well. Just kind of make it a little bit challenging to try to flash farm in later on with, say, the Forge Spirits for Quinn. In a solo lane for Darkseer, without the Spirit Breaker on hand, without rotation, still fairly comfy for sure, although... He's gonna go down. By the looks of it, I mean, the chase is on. And does, uh, it's a pretty important pickup here for Tofu and Ace. Out of the map. Seeing if they can find Shiro on the Troll Warlord. Shiro is right under the tier 1 tower, but they'll drop the wall, they'll charge in. And with the cold snap, Shiro is not looking too healthy and is going to die. Not even able to have the mana to pop the battle trance to buy himself a little bit more time. Now, when, ooh, Echoes mid lane, gonna reveal himself by the tier 2 tower. Does get caught. Why does not have Ice Path available, so Echo's looking to fall down. Does do so as Y barely able to get away, but they've lost the SF. W. He was also dusted up. He does have Impale available, but it's going to be pretty hard to get away. Game in it. We'll just turn back around. Ends up dying to Ace, and that'll be another great kill here for Game. Sure, to get to a stage where he can actually. It's a big oh, fight, still why? wide. Dive now into the tier 3 tower. If this Vendetta here from PYW. They do find Ace. That's a big target. Ace is already gone. Tofu now being targeted. Tofu, he'll go for a run towards the south, but they have got him. Jira will take him out. It's now Duraccio in the middle of nowhere. Does find Y. He still has the Aegis up. But he's completely surrounded by four heroes here as they do throw out the Deputy Pass from Quinn. But Quinn now oh. is sitting duck. Quinn, no way out, trying to slowly run his way out of there, but it's not going to happen. Oh. Jumping again, Durantio, that's a lot of damage. Not a PYW, but not quite enough yet, as now the Requiem is committed. Echoes trying to go on to Ace again, but the Darkseed does make it out. There's a very nice Cyclone connecting onto Shiro and Y. There's no follow-up to it. Seems like Gaiman will retreat. Oh. Back in onto new, the tip is gone. A very quick kill here from Duraccio as they were also going to drag back Y with a vacuum, but they will not jump Y. Hero, oh, smoke broken. Duraccio going to spot him out. They won't dive the troll first though. PYW moving in. Has caught the Ursa, but the enraged was out in time. Now, oh, that's a good wall. That is a very good wall out from Ace. And a choke point on oh. top. It goes is down. Charge out from Tofu, gonna find PYW on top there. PYW with an ice impale will set up to take down Tofu. Tornado out, Shiro being stuck in an ice path for now. Durachia looking Raja. to make his way back in, but he has no enrage up. He's gonna be a little bit wary of not dying here to Shiro. Is now Quinn in danger? But oh, it's Durachia in danger. The Ursa is down. Quinn, 
also caught out. They've even found themselves celery, so that is going to be a couple to go down. Shiro will get tipped here by Echoes. If that opportunity presents itself, you've got the full basher for Duratra now as well. Five man smoke, PYW. Nick's assassin. Spike Carap is going to make life a little bit hard as they actually knock him down to the low ground, I do believe. Though Duratra is still happily jumping in. Getting First hit bash. Immediately, it does go down. Why? Tofu may be going a little bit too far, but always back wall on a three targets in the choke point of the staircase. Durache can move right in. Y is already looking to fall as now New in danger will try to chain away, but Ace is going to be there to make sure he goes nowhere. Triple kill for the Ursa. Durache hit him in that, in that invis route. Run right up to them, LGD. Do they see him? They finally do with the dust, but the enrage is off. Durantio and now the back wall ace. He found three more targets. Shiro, he'll get the battle traps in time. Oh. Darkseer is down. Durantio just kiting out Shiro that will turn back around. They might lose the first life on the Ursa, or maybe not even. But Durantio now locked down, does oh. lose the Aegis. Ofu's gonna buy back. They'll move it again. Ice Path is out. Durantio locked down. He needs some help, he'll jump away with the Ogre Seal Totem. And now the charge back in from Tofu and Duraccio jumping back in onto PYW. What's the Nyx first? Does get it, but Duraccio oh. gives his own life away. PYW gets him from the grave. Onto Quinn they'll go. Quinn also caught out and does drop. Quinn, has he been spotted? He has. PYW with oh. double stun. Ek is out from Ace, but it is not going to help too much as Quinn is already down, and so will Tofu. He's also gone. It goes. That perfect oh. the wreck with the jump in for Duraccio again. He'll be used up at the back wall. Ace again fighting five. As where does the follow up though? It goes. He's going to go down. That's one. Jiro chasing down the Ursa. Hero with the battle trance trying his best to make this team fight work, but it is going to wear off eventually, and now he's going to be a sitting duck. Ace with a perfect setup. Shiro still running, but the tornado will connect. You also trying to get the hell out of there as another vacuum. You're going to cancel the TP of Shiro, not allowing anyone to get out. Why also caught? Why looking to fall? I'm going to try and force this tier 3 tower too much as like, the last couple times they've done it, it, it has cost them some big fights. Back to the, the farm game here for gaming and maybe just on timer. This is actually already ran out. The Roshan is available to be taken. The game of Gladiator is going to start moving on towards the pit. LGD, they're in a position now where they just can't allow this next Roshan to go the way of gaming. They are going to smoke up as five. They'll start running through the top lane to try and get towards the Roshan pit in time. Be right behind them. Smoke up from game and they know they're coming. Be a vision of the high ground of those twin gates for LGD. Or D ward. Still very patiently waiting. With the creep wave that wasn't coming. Mind you do have an abyssal blade now on Duraccio, so he could just completely burst out Shiro if he's not too cautious. Shiro gonna get started on the Roshan attempt himself. MP thrown out here by Quinn, gonna remove half the mana pool of you. You are playing up against the Darkseer as well around a Roshan pit, so you're going to be very cautious of that back wall again oh. as Duraccio going to find Y already on the Jakira has taken one down. Back wall again, oh. fighting three targets into the charge of Tofu. And Yu is already looking pretty, pretty dead. So Yule's up, he'll try to chain away. He missed the tree, but he's still alive. Requiem out from Echoes to try and save, but they can't get him. Duraccio's fine. Meanwhile, Shiro trying to fight with the battle traps, but that's about to wear off and he's been disarmed. Triple kill, they call it. GG.